President Trump and the First Lady have both tested positive for COVID-19. After White House Senior Counselor Hope Hicks tested positive, the President and those near Hicks were tested as well. This has also led to other prominent individuals, including the chair of the RNC and Senator Mike Lee, also testing positive. The President and the First Lady are quarantining at the White House. A few Middletown High School students share their reactions from the afternoon of October 2nd when the President tested positive. So how did you find out that um, Trump got COVID? I found out this morning when my mom was on a phone call, she was talking about it with her friend and that's how I found out. All right, Haley, how did you find out? I found out this morning on somebody's Instagram story, like everybody has them on there. So just through social. And Luke, what about you? Um, I woke up and I picked up my phone and I turned it on and there was like this um, news headline and it said Trump had COVID and I was just like, oh, nice. <laughs> All right. So um, what was your initial reaction when you heard? My initial reaction was I thought it was kind of crazy because um, it just shows us all that um, we just need to be staying inside wearing and wearing our mask when we're in public because we just know that this can happen to anybody. So, I mean, like, I hope he's healthy, whether you like him or don't like him, but um, that was my initial reaction. My initial was, reaction was it was kind of ironic just because at the debate he was talking, he was like making fun of Biden for wearing a mask. So I thought it was ironic that just a few days later he got it. So I thought it was like a little bit funny at first, but of course I want him to be safe and I hope. Um, my reaction was, um, yeah, it's kind of ironic, but it's not good because he's like, even though we have the election coming up, he's still a president. And there's still some stuff he has to do if he um, is in an office for much longer. So I hope he recovers. How do you think this will change COVID policies? I feel like it just will put everything into perspective for the people making the policies because now they know that um, anyone can get it. Maybe um, like stuff will be reduced down to less people because um, he's been in environments with a lot of people. So I feel like it just make, make everything go back a little bit or maybe it'll keep it the same, but I don't know. I think it will turn a lot of the people that are his supporters that are like anti-mask and stuff, like more, they'll be more cautious about it. And I think it will obviously make him be more um, inclined to increase reforms and stuff, so more people are prevented from getting it. Um, I don't. I think stuff might change a little bit, but um, at the end of the day, not that much. I mean, it's a virus; people get it, and he was just happened to be a person that got it. So. What kind of reactions have you seen other people have? Like, what have you seen on social media and stuff? I've seen a lot of people saying, like what Haley said earlier, about it being ironic because um, he literally just talked about, um, like, how he didn't think that you need to be wearing a mask as much as some people were. Um, so I've seen a lot about that on social media. I've seen like a lot of people say like I hope he dies and stuff which I feel like is really dramatic and is something that it's like it's ironic that they're saying that as well because they really got on Trump about coming for Biden's son about being dead and having like a lot of issues and personal attacks and now they're just going back on it and like wishing that he was dead which is obviously serious and something that like nobody 